Okay, bring your video clip down to your timeline. Right click on your video clip and choose new fusion clip. Head over to your fusion tab. Okay, add in a merge node. Bring down Shape 3D1, Merge 3D, a camera, a spotlight, and a render 3D. Connect it to your Merge 1. Add in another merge node and drag down a particle node. Right click on your timeline and go to add tool, drag down the particles and add in a directional force. Right click on your timeline, drag down the particles again, and add in turbulence. Next add in a particle render, and you're also going to need a 3D render. Shift spacebar on your timeline, type in blur, add your blur node, hit shift spacebar again, type in sharpen and add that, add the sharpen node. Connect it to your merge too. Open up your dual viewer, drag shape 3D1 to your left screen and click on it. Go to your shape and change it from plane to sphere. Now you want to raise up your base subdivisions and your height subdivisions to smooth out everything. Click on camera 3D and drag your camera back until you can see it in your right screen. I click on your render 3D and enable lighting and shadows. Then head over to your spotlight and pull your spotlight back. So you can see your shape. Or you can close out your win window and click on your render or your particle emitter node. And head over to region. You can adjust your size here. Also increase your number of particles. Head over to your color tab. Go down to color controls. And click on color over life and turn it red. And head over to region and increase the size to fit the shape. You can hit play to see which way your particles are flowing. Click on directional force. Change it to 90 degrees.
click on your particle emitter and adjust your number of variants and your life, lifespan variants and lower your lifespan your particle lifespan okay you can go ahead and click on your blur and raise your blur click on your sharpen node and sharpen it up you can click on your particle emitter and adjust the size a little more to fit you can also adjust the position you'll be toggling back and forth between your sharpen and your blur node Till you get everything about right or close to how you want it to be shift spacebar and type in cook torrents and add that to your shape 3d Okay, click on your turbulence node and increase your X strength and your Y strength. Also in turbulence, you can increase the density a bit. And head down to your color over life and set a point in the center. Choose orange. And adjust accordingly. Head over to your particle emitter node and increase the number of particles. You'll have to adjust the blur and the sharpen again after you raise the number. You can add in another point on your color over life controls. Set a point on the end and use black for that point. You can also add another point in the center and use orange. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.